Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. Yes, it's a never live show on your favourite channel. Well, you're probably your only channel, actually, or community. But we've got some transfer news, kind of only at Arsenal this could happen. Only at nowhere else would this happen. You're probably thinking, what am I talking about? Well, you know what? We're going to get into only at happen at Arsenal on the other side of this music intro. Only at Arsenal. Oh, my God. Yes, indeed. welcome back to Canon for the, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. We are live. Are we direct? We are direct from our other studio, Studio B. I'm not going to tell you where it is. <laughs> but what you can do right about now is just click the like button. It says it's somewhere down. Just click the like button. Be part of the community. Subscribe. Mm, you don't have to. You don't have to. What I would like you to do is come into the live chat, which seems to be operating again now. Yeah! Come in live chat. Let me know your thoughts about Declan Rice only at Arsenal. Nowhere else on the face of the earth. Football in the world community does it happen only at Arsenal. We're going to be talking about Thomas Party, Samuel Lakonga, and a little bit of a, of a kerfuffle or scuffle with uh, our number two goalkeeper. It's going to be an interesting one. So let's get into this one, actually. So um, have I lined it up properly? I haven't even done it properly, have I? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Declan Rice. Where's Declan Rice? Well, there's some news about Declan Rice, and I'm thinking only at Arsenal would this happen at. Only at Arsenal. Declan Rice, you and Timber, are set to make the Arsenal summer spending to beyond £200 million, and the clubs are hopeful of including Timber and the squad for Thursday's friendly away to FC Nuremberg. Remember, we played them last season in the pre-season. Now, Rice could sign before the squad departs uh, for the US tour on Sunday. But West Ham, apparently, are waiting on the Gunners' lawyers to seal Declan Rice's deal. Yeah. West Ham are waiting, I repeat, for the Gunners' lawyers to seal the Declan Rice deal. I, 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 I had to read it over and over again. I don't know what to say, man. Really, only at Arsenal. That West Ham are waiting for Arsenal's lawyers to approve the final wording of the deal. And once this is done, they will sign and Rice will complete his move to North London. So, as it stands of now, Declan Rice is not an Arsenal player until he signs on a dotted line. Now, a report does say Arsenal are hoping of completing the signing of Rice before the squad flies to the USA for their pre-season tour on Sunday. The deal for the midfielder will cost a club record. Well, I'm kind of a little bit tired of this now. £105 million fee yeah, broken down in an initial payment of £100 million for £5 million in add-ons. The deal will eclipse Arsenal's previous record purchase, which is uh, currently Nico Pepe from Lille for £72 million in uh, 2019. So I'm getting a little bit tired of this Declan Rice, I don't know, is it a scenario, is it a telenovela, is it a soap opera, I'll tell you what it is, only at Arsenal, you're probably thinking, well Alex, you're kind of blowing things out of all proportion, am I, I don't think so, I mean, look at Liverpool, they signed, you know, Alexis McAllister, did you hear anything about, oh, they're waiting for the solicitors and the lawyers to, you know, dot the I's across the T's, no, no, when they signed Dominic Sabaslai, did you hear, oh, you know what? Liverpool are waiting for his lawyers to sign, you know, dot the I's and cross the T's. No, only at Arsenal. Now, I think I might come to a point where I might stop talking about Declan Rice until he signed his life away at Arsenal. I think I might just do that because I'm getting just a little bit tired now. Just sign the thing. I don't want to hear anything else. Just sign the documents. Pass it to your lawyers. Get it, you know, I don't know, executed or, I don't know, just, just process quickly. I'm just getting a little bit tired now. 
I was hoping I was going to talk about Declan Rice, you know, having done his medical. Because as I understand it, this this gentleman here, during Timber, has completed his medical. He's completed his medical. What is all the kerfuffle about? Is it because it's possibly, oh, well, you know what, under £5 million, we've got to be very, very careful. Who's leaking this information? But I guess maybe it's my fault for talking about it. But I've got to let you guys know what's going on, haven't I? But I am getting a little bit tired, and I just kind of get the impression that maybe you are as well. All we want to hear about Declan Rice is that he's signed the contract, and he's making his way, you know, to the training ground at London Coney, and he's making his way also on Sunday for the preseason. We don't want to hear nothing else, apart from he's finally signed the contract. I tell you, only at Arsenal this will happen. At nowhere else, not even Denmark down the road. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I kind of spilled the beans a little bit. So yeah, Euron Timber has apparently completed his medical. Uh, so yeah, so you know, I think what it says. Um, so we signed uh, Euron Timber, Netherlands international, who can play as a centre back or right back, has completed a medical and will be announced as an Arsenal player shortly. Guys, just make it quick, please. Just make it as quick as possible. I really am just getting tired about hearing the latest news about Declan Rice. He hasn't signed this. He's, he's signed that. No, he hasn't He hasn't signed. Has he done the medical? No, he hasn't done the medical yet. Is he training? No, he's not training. Just sign the contract, please. I was begging you. Just sign the contract. <sighs> sorry about that, people. I'm sorry. So, like I said, I spilled the beans. Um, this gentleman has finally uh, completed his medical, and I think he will be ready to fly out to the States. Now, talking about the United States... Talking about the United States, there's been a little bit of a kerfuffle, a little bit of a fracas involving Matt. Yeah, Matt Matt Turner. Arsenal's Matt Turner was caught up in a in a tunnel a fracas uh, after the United States uh, men's team edged a dramatic encounter with neighbours Canada in a Concacaf uh, Gold Cup. The two old foes faced off at the quarterfinal stage at the tournament, with the uh, the clash having ended 2-2 after extra time, which forced a penalty shootout, with both countries uh, having uh, led the, the match at different stages. It was clear that tensions were running high by the time the players got into the tunnel. The game produced six yellow cards, and it seems that the rivalry was not left on the pitch. After the US edged the game on penalties, a, a ruckus ensued with uh, stars from both teams engaging in uh, disagreements. Oh, disagreements. It's good to have a disagreement or two. As personnel from the United States uh, taunted their defeated uh, opponents uh, 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 following an all uh, ill tempered game, according to Spanish outlet Marca. Wow, my goodness. Now, this is, this is the only image I, I could really get of the fracas. But I think the picture on the right, uh, you can actually see that, um, yeah, that's Matt, Matt Tina Turner on, on, on the side over there. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. Uh, sorry, it's got a message here. The, uh... Sorry about this, people. I just need to remove this. Pow! So I don't know. I don't know. What what more what more can we talk about this? Uh, Matt and Turner getting involved in a little fracas uh, there at the CONCACAF. Um, I used to follow that when I was um, living in Central America, uh, but I don't I don't follow it anymore. There's probably a reason for that. <laughs> There's a little bit of a reason. Let me, let me just change this this um, this this background here because it's a little bit boring. It's a little bit boring, isn't it? So can I can I get this one back? Yay! There we go. So we've got the, the, the raking news, not breaking news. Let's get back into the new segment, shall we? So um, a little bit of an update in regards to a Thomas Party. Uh, I think I've probably kind of covered this already, I think. But Thomas Party uh, apparently um, wants to wants a European stay. Thomas Party would prefer to remain in Europe instead of moving to Saudi Arabia if he leaves Arsenal this summer. According to reports from Italy, the Gunners midfielder has proposals from clubs in a 
the Saudi Pro League, but wants to find a new European side. Arsenal are open to the same Thomas party with Declan Rice that we are waiting for. Yeah, still waiting for him. And I think it kind of makes sense because you want to make sure that you've got a player coming in before you sell your player, per se. Do you want to say what I mean? So rather than selling Thomas Partey and finding that actually Declan Rice didn't happen, it's going to leave you short in the midfield, isn't it? But um, this is what you're saying here, that you know Thomas Partey would prefer another European uh, club rather than stay at Arsenal. So again, that's another bit of news we have to wait and find out what happens with Thomas Partey. Again, personally, to me, we keep him. Keep him. You know, just manage him a lot better, Mikel Arteta. Does not have to play all 38 games because he's not capable of playing all 38 games. He showed that, hasn't he? He showed it. Anyway, we go on. The last new segment of this show over here is in regards to Albert Sambi Lokonga. Now, Lokonga explains why he isn't training. I uh, also want to weigh Albert Sam Lokonga says that a small injury uh, is the reason for his absence from pre-season training. Yeah, Lokonga was uh, signed by Mikel Arteta for around £15 million in the summer of 2021, but has since found minutes in the first team hard to come by. The Belgian midfielder spent the second half of last season on loan at Crystal Palace, a move which did little to change Arteta's stance in, on limiting his game. Now the summer transfer window is in full swing, Lokonga is searching for an exit route, with Burnley the most prominent club linked, but the ex Anderlecht captain, yeah, he was the captain of Anderlecht man, is currently sideline posing, uh, posting on Instagram after fans noticed that he wasn't in training. Due to a small muscular injury, I'll sadly uh, not be part of the summer camp uh, with the team in Germany, Lokonga wrote. I'm focused now on my recovery to prepare the season and be ready to help the team at my uh, fullest capacity. That is a really nice message, to be honest. I mean, we know that he's not happy. Uh, and if you were thinking, oh, how do you know that? If you saw the All or Nothing, I can't remember whether it was episode two, three or four, but they're at the uh, the canteen, they're having their lunch or whatever it is, and he sat next to Eddie and Ketia, and with, literally with a few expletives, Eddie and Ketia said, well, no, look, just, just be quiet because we're all in the same position. We're not happy. The best thing you can do is just fight for your place. But um, that message there is just making sure that everyone is aware why he wasn't um, uh, seen at training. I thought that's a really nice message there. Really, really nice message. So uh, we have come to the end uh, of all the new segments uh, run on Canon 40 TV. So what you can do, again, let me try and get this right. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? It's over here. Yeah, the live chat is over here. Yeah. Come join us in the live chat. Let me know your thoughts about Declan Rice. Are you getting a little bit tired about... Declan Rice, it's this, you know, the, you know the, all the, uh, the the money. You know, we're gonna, are we gonna sign him? Uh, you know, the first bid, the second bid, the third bid, and the add-ons. And now, like we're here and there, <laughs> we're waiting for. Oh my goodness! Any, anyway, 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 anyway. Right, let me just kind of get rid of this again. I've got to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going live. I'm going live. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, coming to the, the live chat, which is on this side, I need to keep forgetting. But also, I've, I've taken it off. Click uh, the like button, which is, what's, where, is, where is it? There it is. A one man show. Click the like button. You do not have to subscribe. Right. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into our Twitter feed and see if anybody has retweeted that we are live. And you know what? Nobody has. <laughs> Nobody has. Uh, righty. Uh, right. Okay, that's fine. So I need to do something there. And um, what I actually want to do, because the numbers are rising a little bit, I think I'll wait a little bit more for the live chat to populate. Um, I've got some comments about a, a particular promo video that I did. Now, why did I do the promo video? Well, I earned uh, or one, one, I earned some some cryptocurrency in the value of forty pounds. Yes, without doing anything, passively. That's right, I did it passively. And you're probably thinking, well, how did you do it? But you know what? Here's a little example of me, like just doing my regular stuff on a regular day, and just earning cryptocurrency passively.
Oh. What was that? What was that? What was that? Hi, my name is Alex, and as you can see, I earned £40 in cryptocurrency passively. Now, if you want to know how I did it, send me an email at arsrealpublic1 at gmail.com or alternatively, send me a WhatsApp message at 447949360741. And maybe you too can earn cryptocurrency passively whilst you eat, sleep, drink, have a shower. So there you go. <laughs> so if you want to know how I earn cryptocurrency, again, passively, I didn't have to do anything. I earned it whilst I was sleeping. You can send me an email, arsenalrepublic1 at gmail.com, or just put a comment in the comments box, you know, box after we finish this uh, show over here. I uh, will play the video again towards the end, just to kind of, yeah. Do you not want to earn some passive, passive cryptocurrency? Who would say no? Who would say no? Maybe you. All right. So um, I believe we can go into the the platform and just check out what has been the latest poll question that we have asked on the platform. Now the poll question was, uh, well actually there's two poll questions. Two poll questions. Yes, just, just kind of reminding myself. The, the first poll question that we did yesterday was, is William Saliba the most important sign-in? Choose only one. So, you know, up until this point, is he the most important sign-in to get over the line? I tell you what, 763 votes. My goodness. 20 thumbs up, five comments. You need to double those, those, those likes there or the thumbs up. 17% say... He's not the most important sign. Then who is then? Who is? It's not Declan Rice. And 83% say, actually, yeah, he is. He's the most important sign-in that we have made in this transfer window. Can you imagine life without William Saliba? I don't want to imagine that just yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think now we can go into the live chat and see who has joined us. Uh, on the show here. Manzi, good afternoon, sister. We are waiting for the biggest announcement, Rice and Timbo. Well, I'll tell you what, Manzi, Timbo has signed. Timbo has completed his medical. We're waiting for Rice. Hasn't done his yet. We're going to sort him out. I'm getting a little bit tired, man. Feeling a little bit tired talking about Declan Rice this, Declan Rice that. Just sign the thing, man. Sign the contract. Anyway, anyway. Anywho. Uh, and we've got... Now, I think the Assemble, for some reason, appears to have deleted his message on the platform there. But from what I can see here. Afternoon, Alex, in the chat room. Good afternoon to you, the Assemble. I hope you are well. Question, do you know if the rumour that Pepe has had uh, his uh, contract terminated, Alex? Uh, I've not heard anything about that. Not heard anything about that. I've heard about Carl Walker linked to Arsenal, but Nico Pepe, I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that. Seems like you've heard something. Let me know. Let me know. Ashley, good afternoon to you, fella. So hello, mate. I'm getting bored now of this uh, crap, uh, waiting for the announcements. Ashley... Only at Arsenal. Only at Arsenal. Nowhere else in the football community could it happen apart from Arsenal. I might have to stop talking about Declan Rice until he's signed a contract. 
Uh, Mike, uh, good afternoon, says um, Alex. Uh, Alex uh, Arsenal fans are always uh, uh, get somehow. Why lawyers delay things? But I can understand it. But I'll give an example, and it's it's a fair example stroke comparison, like I said about Liverpool signing uh, Alexis uh, McAllister. You did not hear anything about, oh, no one. We're waiting for the lawyers to dot the I's and cross the T's before we make the announcement. No. They're signing Dominic Sabaslai. Oh, we've got to wait for Dominic Sabaslai's lawyers and the club lawyers to do, to do their business. And Only at Arsenal. So the next time you hear me talk about Declan Rice is when and if he signs a contract. Because apart from that, I'm just starting to get a little bit tired now of talking about Declan Rice. Not liking it at all, man. Uh, Mike says, uh, we fans didn't want things to fall apart between Arsenal and West Ham. No, we don't. But we want, if again, you, it's not now we've been talking about Declan. We've been talking about Declan Rice since January. So you've had all that time to get the components in the right place, to get the player to sign it. Only at Arsenal you would see and hear this. I don't think I'm overreacting. I don't think so. Uh, Lord Earl. Lord Earl is in the house. Declan Rice is getting on my... <laughs> getting on my nerves. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, Lord Earl. These kids I work with, they're getting on my nerves, man. And I'm putting on top Declan Rice news. is getting on my last nerve. All my nerves are almost out. <sighs> Just get it done. Uh, Declan Rice is getting boring now. Uh, is he signing or not? We've got uh, Saliba, and that's the real deal. Absolutely. I mean, I think that the the the, the poll question that we put out there, it it tells you the story. William Saliba was an absolute must. Even if we didn't get a Declan Rice, I'll be happy, and I was really very very happy to hear that. You know, the guy signed the contract. Who cannot be happy about that? If Rice, in the end, doesn't sign, to be honest, am I going to be crying uh, over spilt milk? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Come on. Come on. I don't know what I'm saying come on for. <laughs> come on. Come on. Thanks. Ah, sorry, guys. Just need to quickly just, just tweet this out that we is live and direct on Canon Fire TV. Right. Okay. Sorry, people. Yeah, it's just getting on my last nerve now, man. Just sign the thing. If, you're not gonna, if, if the, the lawyers cannot expedite, that means, uh, it's a posh word, expedite means to like process things quickly. If they cannot expedite it, then there's no there's no chance. There is no chance. I just get a little bit tired, man. A little bit tired. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not the one. That's not the one. That's not the one. Uh, I don't know. Is it just me? Am I overreacting? I don't think so. All right. Just need to uh, let everyone know uh, we are live. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, okay. <laughs> I saw something there. Uh, okay. All right. Done. Done, 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 done. All right. Um, again, I don't know. Uh, you know, am I the one who's overreacting? Uh, I personally, I am getting a little bit jaded, a little bit tired of talking about actually both those players, Euron Timber and Declan Rice. It's not, it's not the players' fault. It's just the people who need to do the negotiations and get the documentation in place. I mean, I don't. I, to be honest, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in hearing. Oh, you know, West Ham are waiting for you know, the, the lawyers, Arsenal. Who wants to know about that? Well, all we're concerned about is can the player play? Can he play? Can he run? Because we've had players in the past who did not run. Can Declan Rice defend and run? That's what I'm concerned about. And the contract situation has been laborious, arduous, tiresome. And we get to this point where we hear, oh, the lawyers are now involved in just dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Only at Arsenal. Only, I kid you not, only at Arsenal. Oh, my 
goodness. All right. Um, so what I would do, uh, the live chat hasn't populated as much as I thought it was going to, which is okay. Uh, but I'm probably going to uh, end the show in the next few moments. Uh, but before I do, I am going to play that video again about me earning crypto, crypto, 14 pounds worth, 40 pounds, not 14, 40 pounds passively, which means I didn't have to work for it. It just happened whilst I was sleeping, whilst I was noshing on my on my <laughs> on my my breakfast and having a shower. I kid you not. But if you want to know how I did it, just send me an email. Just send me an email. The email is actually in the description box below. All right. Uh, okay. So let me just quickly do this. Uh, just remind everyone um, that this Friday we're going to be announcing all the nominees, the nominees for our second annual award ceremony on Canon 40 TV. And you get to vote again for your favorite segment, live segment on Canon 40 TV. But you won't hear anything until Friday and you'll see all the nominees, all the segment that has run since last year until this point. So stay tuned for that. Right, uh, I get the feelings uh, that we have actually come to an end on this one. 27 minutes, almost 27 minutes are running. And um, I don't even think that it's worth going through the, the new segment. What I would say, um, I might go back to this one, actually, where, I don't know, the, the little fracas with Matt Turner in a tunnel after United States... Uh, men's team beat Canada and there's a little fracas in the tunnel so the picture on the right you can see that's Matt Turner in the yellow top there I don't think there was any fisticuffs there was no blows landed but yeah very very interesting that's our Matt our Matt in the middle of everything yeah okay um, have we had one more? I think we've had, have we had one more? Uh, no, we haven't, have we? Oops. Okay. Uh, so we have come to an end on this show over here. Uh, thank you to you for joining me over here, talking about Arsenal, transfer news. We are in the midst, we are in the middle, yeah, of the silly season, the transfer season. And I'm getting a little bit tired now. Uh, talking about Declan Rice, just get it done. If it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. But I tell you what, we've got William Saliba. Who? William who? William Saliba. Yeah, man. Yeah, finally signed there. Declan Rice, doesn't happen, doesn't happen. But we've got William Saliba. Okay, um, I will be back uh, tomorrow uh, giving you some more transfer news. Uh, some more, I don't know, some strange news maybe. Strange news? No. Some transfer news. Yeah transfer news anyhow i will be back tomorrow but just to remind you guys that this has been canon for the the channel for arsenal fans all over this world oh. what was that What was that? What was that? Hi, my name is Alex, and as you can see, I earned £40 in cryptocurrency passively. Now, if you want to know how I did it, send me an email at arsenalpublic1 at gmail.com or alternatively, send me a WhatsApp message at 447949 three six zero seven four one and maybe you too can earn cryptocurrency passively 
whilst you eat, sleep, drink, have a shower.